Hello everyone and welcome back to Total War Medieval 2 as Scotland. Getting right back into it here. You've finally fought off the uh, Spanish on our shores. We've got a large fleet over there. We really are hoping that the Portuguese won't land and also declare war. They say they don't see trouble, but I don't believe them. And unfortunately, frustratingly, this massive... Well, massive's the wrong term. It's kind of a, a sad army, actually. It's mostly made of uh, some militia and mercenaries. But this army would be easily defeatable on this small cog with our larger fleet here and over here. But we are currently on a sort of ceasefire demanded by the uh, Pope. Uh, so we will, we will see about that and how that affects things. But we are near the end of our turn now, I do believe. Yeah, we'll just check that everything's good there. 630 gold a turn. Excellent. You're at 211. You're at 211 as well. Perfect. It's over a thousand gold a turn just from those three merchants. But anyways, our goal is to get to Denmark here. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. And see where we are. France is maneuvering about. Ah! Oh, someone's died. Portugal. Oh, get out. And they've got those fleets coming up too. Oh my goodness. Master Thieves Guild in London. It does cost a lot, but it would improve our spies more. But again, do we need that? I don't know. Did increase our money there. Sicilian Cardinal promoted, trained. Archery range complete at Nottingham. Ah, and Edinburgh's ready to upgrade into a large city. Oof, it is growing fast. I think we are going to want to turn this up so that it slows down a bit now. London's as high as it will go. Happy warehouse that would definitely increase money some. Okay, so maybe this gentleman, Dougal, we were going to leave there, the but perhaps we will leave him at Carnarvon with a small garrison force. So they got two militia, but if we take him and My king. Well, we'll just Where's take the fight? I don't want to send just him over I, in case he gets caught in there and killed. Set I, my liege. I, my liege. So these I, are all folks liege. that we want to ship off. This is where I, we'll assemble liege. our army that's leaving. Which My obviously king. will take the I, best. Onward. Take the best. Combining the armies, sire. My king. My king. Move out. How much cavalry? One, two, three, army, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, I don't I, think we need those, so we can I send king. this cavalry over Onward. here. I, joining our forces. I, I, forward. We actually. The army, <laughs> We really don't need that much cavalry. One, two, three. Six units of feudal knights should be enough for the first sort of shipment of troops. The first boatload that we send over. Well, if he wants to land troops, he'll be stuck there. And this army we can pretty easily take out. It's, once again, it's just annoying. Oh, we gotta move that up there. Because the ballista is part of what we're taking over. Take those four. Doesn't leave much space left, does it? But these noble Highland archers are significantly better. The missile attack goes up quite a bit. Good morale, good stamina. They're quite a bit more expensive as well. But a lot more defense. 
they're actually an okay melee unit. 9 attack, 12 defense. That's like comparable to our Highlanders. So what do we have? We only have 3 archers. Yeah, I want more archers. 4 melee, 7 melee. Well, we'll go for one of thems. <laughs> one of them. Uh, turn still next available. One, only one more. So you know what? We'll wait another turn and then get another noble Highland archers. And that will be our plan. Aye. Aye, Lord. My king. I don't want to leave it undefended. Aye, Lord. We'll send these ones over here. We're, I think we're just going to have to camp a garrison force over at Cairnarvon. Which is so frustrating, but I don't know what else we do here. If they're just going to keep... Look, they've four, four units there, another five over here. It's unbelievable. We're neutral with Spain again. I don't think we can say yes to that Thieves Guild right now because we need more money. You have to focus on income some. Uh, 2,000. How much would that increase things? Not by a, a ton. And they've got the desolation there constantly. 2,400. Looking to build that, but I don't know when we'll be able to. Yeah, you know, I think we're going to have to go for the high tax rates now just to uh yeah because we need the income that's too much nottingham stuck we need the income and and they're actually they're growing too fast for us right now we can't build things fast enough so this does have us gaining some more money which is certainly excellent town hall that doesn't give us money Rotation does, but it's quite a lot. What about market. Nottingham, we could do shipwright. That increases trade fleets available. Does no, just trade goods. Huh. What about over here. When do we do a market there, market there. We'll aim for a market there as well. Actually, we'll do it in Dublin first. Because Cairnarvon will likely be sieged again. Aye. Hopefully, though, this fleet, three hulks and a bunch of cogs, can take care of the navies. Even if they do have the war galleys. What are they? 12 and 12. 37 Fleet's people. Ready. We're 10 and 12. So their war galleys are better than our hulks, but the best that we can do for now. My king. One of Aye. those over there is a garrison, right. maybe? No, that's Aye. that's foolish. March. We march no I wish we could get free upkeep on our uh, characters here, on our generals. But we cannot, so. Ooh, big army moving out. You, with some actual real units in it. Oh, and we have a we have a, a mission to take Bruges, don't we? Two and a half thousand florins to take it. You know what? I think we could do that. It does open us up to borders with France and England again. Why are you addressing but me? England's not a threat. France is a real threat. They're a monster of a nation right now. I, my liege. Okay, next turn. I, Lord. Well, maybe in two turns. No, next turn we'll load them up and send them over, assuming that that army doesn't get off and fight us. Uh, if it does, obviously we'll have to stay and deal with that army. Byzantine, Turkish. Yep, don't mind us. It's just our our king here, a couple of archers on some random mercenary galleys sailing through. And we have made peace with Egypt. Okay, yeah, and you were heading over there to see what's up with that. All right. 
Oh, England. Get what? What are you doing? Now, Denmark. Portugal. Stop. Oh, these these nations. They really test my patience. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. Okay, well. A suitable prince. Confident defender, night fighter, smart. Fair fighter, religious. Yeah, and he's only 22. Seems great. Scientific breakthrough. It has been discovered that an ore from the Asia Minor region of Magnesia that attracts iron can also make a piece of, of, of that metal orientate itself to point to the north, as reliably as a devout Muslim would turn to face Mecca. This strange phenomena has been captured in a small device known as a compass that cartographers and navigators have begun embracing in earnest. I mean, it will take much of the guesswork out of the art of exploration and map making. Excellent news. A uh, compass has been invented. Spain has been excommunicated again because they've declared war on the Papal States, and Portugal has declared war on us. Two stall because we don't have enough money. We lose money. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, and we're only going to gain 2,000 gold a turn right now. My king. Okay, you go I back there. Forward. I, my liege. I, lord. I, my liege. We must face me in the open. It will be glorious. Yeah, we still have that cease hostilities, so if they attack us, then we'll see. But we don't have cease hostilities against you. My worthy. Where's the fight? I suppose I could recruit mercenaries, but it feels pretty useless. Although this is just all archers and cavalry. Command me. Very well. I seek an you? Engagement. Ooh, they do have. They've got some decent cavalry in the feudal knights. I come admiring the enemy. Eh? We will not surrender these waters easily. Let's do this. Clear victory. Good. These be Scottish waters now, sire. Relations worsen. Did that say with the papal states or with Portugal? Our papal state standing is going down. Though. I think we're. I think we're gonna have to forget about it. Let's see if we can. Gone, then do something about it. We will not surrender these waters. I don't want those to land. I don't know if we can beat. Oh, it's only four war galleys, isn't it? We should be able to beat that, right? Let's hope. Clear victory. Oh, we sunk all four. Amazing. And there goes their extra army. And there goes their way home. An enemy to crush. Alright, let's take out Prince V. Now it does say that this is in their favor a bit. Oh, it is to Alma. Oh, they're javelin throwers. Javelineers. I think this will be a tough one. If their cavalry hit our archers, our archers will be swamped. Likewise, if any of our units get into a prolonged melee with the feudal knights, then they will also be swamped. What's the commander's unit? Yeah, general's bodyguard. I think we can do it. And if we don't do this, then the other army will come over and join them, and then it will be much, much more difficult to take them out. Let's get right into it here. Okay. Okay, we'll just do that there. We'll do heavy cab on that side, general there, the cab over there. If we go there, we might just have each of them. I want both of you get yourselves over there. Oh, 
All right, the balance of forces is evenly matched. Okay, he's got the missile cavalry up front, feudal knights, heavy cavalry, heavy cavalry. It's the cavalry that I'm most worried about. They could cause us problems. But actually, even though it will tire them out, I am going to run in the feudal, the uh, town militia. Because they are spearmen, so they'll have the best chance against the feudal knights. Oh, they're starting to come at us because we've... Uh, I'm going to run you in there. I'm going to run you in. Because our archers are shooting at them. Oh, we killed a few of those. Get out, get out. Alright, we're taking out the... Taking out a lot of the uh, missile troops. Yep, don't engage with the knights. Fight the knights if you can. Yeah. Avoid, avoid, disengage. Oh, our poor archers are going to get mucked here, I think. Yeah, it's going to be unfortunate for our archers. Don't engage. Oh, look at them. They're just getting demolished. No, but yeah, let's kill their general. We can't. If we can kill their, kill their general, it will become a lot easier. I have one of you charge in. Oh, yeah, we've got one unit breaking. I need both of you. You two, kill the general. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Border horse will be chasing down there. You three, take down them. You take down them. One of you can fight them, I guess. Our ally lies dead, slain by the enemy. We must avenge him, lest our allies lose heart. Mostly, oh, oh, our border horse is running too. Useless. No, I need, I need you to get over here and take out some of these cavalry. This is not going as excellently as it could be. Yes, bring down those mailed knights. Bring them down. You know what? I, I will send you over to attack them then. Lord have mercy. We have lost half our men. We have, but it's okay. Yeah, the feudal knights are definitely hitting the militia pretty hard. By the saints, yes! Our men have slain okay, the enemy we've got the general. This Without is him, his their will to fight. not our, our finest battle, I don't think. Oh, they're fleet. Yeah, we have to chase them down. Oh yeah, take out those Omegahubbers. We don't want any of them to escape. A couple of units routed. Did lose a few overall. That should be more than enough. A heroic victory. Foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. I guess even though we had almost double their number, uh, it uh, it heavily favored them because of the troop types that they had. But we did it. We pulled through. It's a little sloppy, but we got them.
Oh, why did I execute them? That was the wrathful. Yeah. Cruel and cunning. That's really not what I meant to do. Oh, I should have released them. Now he's... <laughs> Retinue expands a notorious berserker. Now he's the wrathful. Oh, goodness. Dougal. I don't know if he was the wrathful before. I don't think so. Well, that was pretty harsh anyways, but... Alright, we'll retrain both of those. Should be fine. Uh, we will... We'll keep those there for now. God will see justice served in our battles. It's a slightly Aye. smaller army. Should hopefully be easier to deal with. The enemy army has routed. Aye, my won't attack them yet. England can just go away. Ugh, and a rebel army. Goodness, it's non-stop here. It really is just non-stop. Let's do one more of the... Oh no, not one more of those. And that will top out that army. I'll pull this navy around here so that it's a little closer there. I'm slightly more ready. Uh... We can build a market there. Or should we build the mines? Oh, it's more... Dougal makes things more expensive. Extravagant. Yeah, that would be it. Maybe we don't want to leave him behind then. As a uh, sort of governor for one of these towns or cities. Oh, well. We will build that. Still can't build that wall. Building a marketplace there. We'll just increase our trade. And try to increase our our income overall. King Edward will continue on trucking home. Luckily we're new, neutral with all these areas for now. We recruit a couple more Highlanders as well. They'll serve as garrison. And we'll throw one of those Move over on. there just in case they do attack again. We'll end the turn. I think we're just going to have to. Oh, don't attack England. <laughs> Portugal. Leave it alone. You're not going to win. You're not going to win these battles. Well, it seems the Danish are also kind of paused on this ceasefire. Portugal's been excommunicated. Excellent. As they should be for attacking us. Q stalled. End of turn report. We did gain 20. Current Arvid besieged again. Question is, do we attack them or do we wait for them to attack? I think we wait. If they attack us next turn, we can use our archers and the towers of the walls and militia and things to take them out. French Navy, Russian Navy. Keep that there. Uh, we have to keep our army just sitting here. Look, they're causing devastation in our lands. Course. I think we will have to drop that down one. They're getting well they're not too unhappy. Certainly boosts public order, but that also boosts population growth through the health. That's just a little bit of public order. That would be just public order. That's money, but it's also growth. I wonder why the trade is flashing like that. 
that would definitely increase things. Aye, Lord. Okay, we've got our full army ready. Aye. Joining our forces. We're going to move that over as reinforcements. We'll leave those two hanging around there. Oh, yes, this was the new gentleman that Aye, came in. Oh, Aye, he makes them slightly lead. unhappier, but he does increase the income. Interesting. Dublin makes quite a bit. Carnarvon, I'm sure, would make more if they weren't besieged. Maybe we'll have him sit over at uh, Carnarvon. Or I suppose he could sit at York or anywhere else, but we'll have him as another governor and take an Dougal the King. Wrathful into battle. Aye, Captain. I really Aye. would just like to... Like, all these Danish navies just hanging around here, doing nothing. I really would like to sail my army across but they're just I think I don't think we're gonna spend money this turn I want to save and next turn get that those walls built for Edinburgh or if we spend some money will we have enough blacksmith upgrades armor more We spend that way. We still have enough. It says forty-eight next turn. Yeah, let's let's not spend it. You know what? You can recruit one more unit of archers. Then we should definitely still have enough next turn. Aye, captain. Captain. Once we drop them off, then we can disassemble these mercenary galleys, which will give us an extra bit of money. Then hopefully we'll make our way. We can. Uh, finally get King Edward back up here. Alright, we're sort of locked in this weird stalemate now because they keep dropping forces off on our shores. As soon as the ceasefire from the Pope is up, we can just attack the Danish army there, and then sail over and take Bruges and then start attacking the Danish homeland. And use our fleets to keep them off our shores. Two more turns still. Unbelievable. Oh, he didn't want to attack. We built a siege tower instead. Completed those. We did gain some money, and then it's, yeah, almost immediately all spent on the large stone walls. I think what I have to... I want to start recruiting merchants, too. We just need more money! It's hard to get one. We're also constantly under siege. Oh, Portuguese Navy? Goodbye. Oh, they sunk two of our ships. Two cogs with silver XP. Ooh, I should have been keeping a better eye on those and taking them back to the port. For... We have to take them back there to retrain. Or back to Dublin. Either way. We could attack them, I suppose. I think we have enough that we could take them down. We've got General Bodyguard and the Jeanettes, which are missile cavalry. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just attack them. Aye, Lord. Aye. Forward. Move him in there so that he'll be... Aye in there if they attack. We'll wait and see. If they attack next turn, then we will we'll just fight them there. If they don't attack, then we'll have to bring the fight to them. Sally forth. England, just get out of there, man. What are you doing? Now, instead of merchant, we gotta retrain some of these lower ones, I think. Well, actually... Aye, Captain. Fleet ready. Call, I'm gonna let one hold.
coal will take a bit more. All right, here we go again. We're really burning through the turns here. As we should be. Like, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that shows in how this is an older game with older AI there. Because I'm not really sure what what England's plan there is. Like, get on the boat, get off the boat, get on the boat, get off the boat. This army cannot flee from the battle. If it loses, all units will be destroyed. That's good to know. No room for mercy today. Kill, them all. Kill them all indeed. And then maybe we will try yet again to make peace with Portugal. And this time they are going to pay us more. As with Spain, instead of making them pay us a small amount for like 20 turns, they're just going to give us everything that they have. As fast as they have it. So I wonder if they will use... We've got all this cavalry here. I kind of want to ride out and hit them. Where's the next nearest gate? There's one over there. Oh, it's also so foggy. There's one down there. Which one's closer, do we think? It's really exactly the same. Okay. Then all of you are going to go over here. And are all going to move out as soon as possible. Why are you going to skirmish while you're on the wall? How does that make sense? Also, town militia, what are you doing over there? That's one, two, three, and four are kind of like stacked up here. Oh, I wonder if we could use our fire arrows and burn something down. All of you run out there. Oh, and I left the <laughs> militia up there stupidly. Oh, and we also have reinforcements coming in from directly behind them. Use fire arrows? No, maybe we'll disable that. We just want to kill as many of them as we can. Well, let's see. For the fire. Oh. It's the fire. Are you are you going to fire at anything? They held off for quite a while. All of you come over this way. Now. Run. Run, run, run. Yeah, just kill as many as we can. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Oh! We did set the ram on fire. I don't know if that was our archers of the towers, but... Hit those Jeanettes. All of you hit the General's bodyguard. Except for you, General's bodyguard. Go hit those Elmogabbers. You two sally out and hit the French Knights. Actually, you get off the wall and you get on the wall. The battle is very much in our nope, field. nope. Just if keep shooting them. Just keep shooting them. Will be ours. All right, archers. The enemy Stop shooting, you're going to shoot your own men. They have lost half their men. I want you to back up so that you can charge in at them again. Oh, hey, you could hit them too. You know what, archers? Shoot those feudal knights. Our militia will be okay, I'm sure.
all of you on the general's bodyguard. No, shoot the feudal knights. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Okay, we're taking it. Never hell. mind. All of you stop. Forget it. Oh no, stop, stop. All of you can. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It oh, I guess we don't need to continue because it said they'd all die anyways. This is a clear victory that goes there we go. To only men of great virtue Our militia took a beating. Those mailed knights actually lost quite a few. Uh, but we took them out. Siege battles are always kind of messy. And these battles actually against Portugal, they've had decent troops. The feudal knights oh, dismounted are strong. At my feet, sire. Uh -huh. Suitable husband. Edith Canmore Patrol. He's a little old. Find someone younger. Cardinal dies. Sicilian and hung Sicilian Cardinal promoted after a hungry Cardinal dies. London retrained. Dougal the Wrathful has a veteran warrior and a shield bearer. That's good. Yeah, he's very much a warrior. We definitely want him to uh Hi. My king, I lord, I lord, onward. You know what? I My think king. I don't need as many male knight units. I lord. My king, I. My king. Well, actually, yeah, we'll merge I. all of those. My king. Leave them there. You can retrain. I. Just the one. I captain. I captain. Ugh, we cannot sail further today. Send you over there for retraining. Oh yeah, see you unseaged, it bumps up the income quite a bit. I, my liege. I'm oh yeah, no, they're just a little unhappy anyways. Let's drop the tax rate just a touch. And you can manage York, because that's one of our other bigger towns. And it's growing much, much faster than Carnarvon. Let's build that in there to help out. Inver isn't happy, probably because they're overcrowded. There are going. Oh, Merchant Cavalry Militia. Oh, is that from the fairground? Yes. Wait, no. No, it's from the Merchant's Guild. Are they any good? 6, 2, and 14. With no other stats. Oh, 6, 2, 14. So they're not as good on the charge as any of our other units. They're actually kind of better in melee. So really it's just sort of like a melee unit that's mounted so that they're faster moving. Which I think is kind of cool. One more turn and then we can bash this army out of here. Retrain those off. Well, My king. retrain those. And no money to do anything else, but we are set to gain good money again Aye. next turn. You want us gone? What is then that fleet? About it. Okay, let's see if we can get peace, with Portugal. Your order. Yes, sire. We suspect you will waste our time. Oh, they want peace. Yeah, it is very generous because. Fighting with me will only result in losses for you. Single payment of... I don't know. You're very poor, so you probably can't give me much. Regular tribute of a thousand a turn. For six turns. I guess we can Are they agreed? This. Okay. This Two thousand gold up front. A thousand a turn. Good. Hostilities cease. Yeah, the Pope hates us because we were attacking Portugal and... Well, no, but they're excommunicated, so why would our standing have gone down with him? Whatever. We can't even bother. The Popes have been coming, coming and going so fast. Who even knows anymore?
We, I thought we had another spy over here, but clearly we don't. Ugh, France is going to take Bruges, probably. So we can still get crop rotation up there. The church and other stuff. York's building. Why don't we upgrade you, Nottingham, to shipwright? Is that worth it? Maybe, maybe not. It says increase in tradable goods, but it's not a city, so it doesn't it doesn't trade as much or make as much anyway. Maybe something in London. The inn. Allows us to recruit assassins, gives us some public order. That would give a little bit of money, but mostly would make them grow faster, which I'm not super about. Let's do the end. Let's just do it. Oh, and Ed. Hi, Captain. You can finally get off. Taking the men ashore. Off the ship. Disband the ship. Hi, my lead. And I don't think you need the archers with you either, because they will just slow you down. Hi. Just like that. Sorry, everyone, for walking through your territory. I am just trying to get back home. One, two, three, four, five-ish turns. Depending on if he stopped anywhere. Okay. The last turn of waiting for the Cecil still. Yes, Bruges is going to be taken by France. That is going to be a small issue. Not really an issue, just means we can't take Bruges. But the only reason that we wanted Bruges was because of our our mission for it for two and a half thousand florins. But it's a not a good town. It's a large town, so you can build a lot there. But it's got nothing in it right now. So you know what? France can take it over. They can upgrade things a bit. And then eventually we'll take it back. Sicilian cardinal promoted. How many Sicilian cardinals have there been declared recently? Oh, Portugal declared war on, war on France. That's actually really good for us because Portuguese is unlikely to keep throwing ships and stuff at us if they're at war with this massive power over here that is France. Okay, retrained, yada yada. Prince David feels respected, but he's also a mean leader. Where's Prince leech. David? That's Dougal the Wrathful. Prince David. Oh yeah, we've got him. He's a great commander, but we've got him here kind of as a uh, governor there. Edmund Canmore now. He's most chivalrous of anyone. Morgan Canmore is somehow a better fighter already, even at only 21. Mission success. We pleased his holiness. He only hopes the newfound peace will last. Yes, yeah, seems unlikely. And we have gained some money. We're up to 4,000. We're gaining about 4,000 a turn right now. Which is good. Yeah, we can't worry about people standing too much anymore. Next stop, we can finally attack this army and get it off our shores. Stop the devastation, get it off our shores as soon as we finish that battle. Assuming we don't take huge losses, even if we just take some small losses, we will still, we will just get on the ship and sail right over. And Bruges might be taken by France. Uh, if it is, then we'll forget about it. If it's not, then we can come take it. Because they have a sizable garrison of actually decent knights. Or decent troops. Uh, I only answer to Montrois. And this French army is kind of a, a mix of... They've got some good troops, but some trash. But we will see. Uh, we'll, we'll defeat this army, and then we'll sail right over. We can take Antwerp... Uh, if Bruges is open, we'll take it. If not, we'll just move straight up. Hamburg's next, and that will be a great one. They've upgraded it to a citadel, which is the highest level of castle upgrade. This is a fortress. The next... Oh, we're actually getting close there. The population growth has slowed down because it's so crowded, but the next upgrade will be citadel, but that's the highest level. It's got a ton of people there. So that's it's a really, really valuable place to capture. And this is uh, 
also a large city. So very valuable places to capture. 18,000. Good lord. How much do you need for the ice one? 24,000. Okay, so yeah. We'll attack Thorgils Chorvasin. Probably butchering that name, but we will attack him and the Danish army next and then sail over. But that will have to wait till next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.